The best filament dehydrator to hit the market yet? Today we'll take a look at Creality's new Space Pie filament dryer, put it to the test, and see just how well it does. It's all in today's video, and it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. First and foremost, I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day, stopping by and checking out today's video, whether you're a regular or a newcomer. If you are a newcomer here and you're looking for a very resourceful and informative channel geared towards 3D printing, uh, builds, tutorials, maybe product reviews like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and come back and see me because I have a lot more awesome videos on deck here in 2024. But today's video here, I'm gonna be showcasing and testing out Creality's new Space Pie filament dryer and I am super, super pumped for this. Uh, when I seen the release on this, just the way this thing looked and some of the early features and reviews that it got were absolutely awesome. So when I got my hands on this, I could not wait to crack it open and put it to the test. A big shout out and thanks to both Creality and 3D Uncle for sending me this filament dryer here. Make sure to go ahead and check both of them out on their websites. They have such a wide variety of different 3D printers, 3D printing accessories, and loads of other goodies for all of your 3D printing needs. So if you're a regular to the channel, you know I am a big, big supporter of filament dryers, especially makers who live in humid regions. Moisture can be an absolute nightmare when it comes to printing. It can cause stringing, it can cause clogs, it can cause impurities in the print, and it can also cause a lot of unnecessary wear and tear on your machine, which you're just wasting time unclogging extruders or swapping out gear or just pulling your hair out, wondering why your print doesn't look as good as it could. Uh, and these filament dryers here will help eliminate a ton of that. So when I was proposed this offer to check this out, I couldn't pass it up. Let's get this guy cracked open, set up, and show you a little test I put this through just to show you how well it does. So without any further ado, let's check out the Creality Space Pie filament dryer. Let's go. All right, so cracking open, taking a look at the Creality Space Pie filament dryer. Uh, a lot of cool features to go over here and take a look at. So first things first, we'll get it out of the box, get some of the plastic and protective casing off of it. The power button on the back with the power plug that you put into the outlet. A nice touch panel display, which we'll look at later here. Uh, it's got a very nice solid hinge here for when you're loading and unloading your filament. Uh, obviously here, it's gonna come with some PTFE tubing. So if you wanna use the dehydrator while you're running and it also has a plug so if you're not using it while you're running it'll help keep uh, any moisture uh, from getting into the dryer there and affecting your filament potentially so then we'll go ahead and get this guy powered up here grab your power cord plug it into the back of the unit and then go ahead and plug it into an outlet flip the switch on the back you will see the front touch panel illuminate and turn the power button on and everything will power up once powered up and illuminated, you'll see a bunch of numbers on the display. We'll go over those real quick. The first is gonna be the current chamber temperature. Next to that is going to be the current humidity within the chamber. And below that is the temperature at which you are setting it to based on your substrate. To change these, just hit the gear button and it's gonna go through each one of those options here. And then obviously you're gonna hit the arrows up and down to change those. You can also change your temperature to Fahrenheit and Celsius, whichever you like. But here we're gonna go ahead and set the temperature to the recommended setting per substrate. We can also change the material it's got abs asa pet g literally every material that you could think of it has a setting for here so you can go ahead and select the material it will automatically change the temperature for you so you actually don't have to go ahead and mess with any sort of temperatures we're going to be doing pla so we're going to leave it on pla and then we're also going to adjust the time so once the arrow lights on that you can turn it up or down there is also a manual and a quick start guide that goes over pretty much everything i went over here so if you need a quick reference you can go ahead and pop that open it also gives you a chart that shows every single material that the machine can be adjusted for. It gives you the proper temperature and the recommended dehydration time. So we can see just how fast this machine works. We can see we have it set to the proper temperature for PLA. And after running for only four minutes, it's already cut the humidity pretty much in half, which is exactly what we want out of our filament dryer here. I can tell you that the unit, it, uh, it's very solid. It has a very sturdy hinge on it. Uh, you can feel it blowing that nice warm air. The fan's not too hot, but I can tell already this thing's gonna work awesome. I wanted to see just how good this filament dryer was, so I left some PLA out in my room uh, for about two days, and I went ahead and did a test print real quick. I went ahead and printed a Moai because my son wanted one printed, so I figured why not. And although it did look pretty good, there are some impurities in it, and we'll take a little bit closer look at that there, but let's really push the envelope here. So I went ahead and took the PLA, and I threw it in my pool. Uh, I left it in there for about an hour, then went ahead and fished it out, which was really difficult holding the camera and trying to get it out. Uh, and then I left it outside in the Florida heat and humidity 
for about another hour. You can see there's just a, a ton of water in there. Uh, so hopefully this is really gonna show you how well this filament dryer works here. But we needed to go ahead and get this thing in the filament dryer here. So it says PLA can run anywhere from four to eight hours. Uh, we're gonna run it somewhere around 50 degrees Celsius. So I went ahead and reset everything. I set it for six hours just to see how well it worked. And we can see here that the humidity is actually going up because there's so much moisture in there. So there's a ton of moisture in there. Uh, it got pretty high. So we're gonna let that basically just sit in here, try to pull all that moisture out and then do a reprint and just see how well it is and compare and contrast the before print with the after print. So we can see here after about an hour and 40 minutes, see how much it's actually pulling out. It's actually building up on the side. So that is a really, really good sign that it's pulling the moisture out of that filament here. But obviously with the humidity still being pretty high there, uh, we wanna leave it in there for a little bit longer. So I went ahead and left the filament in there. Gonna let it do its thing for a little bit longer and see just how well it does. And then we can see here after about another three hours, we have now cut that humidity level down to about 23%. So we've cut that in half again. So that's a really, really good sign. Finishing up the last hour of the drying process, we can see we are at 18% humidity. That is absolutely awesome. So now it is time to do our test print. I feel confident that we've pulled the majority of the moisture, if not all of it out of the filament, but we're gonna go ahead and run this while we're printing. So with a little ingenuity and a help from one of my other printers, I'm gonna go ahead and use that PTFE tube, use that same filament I used before, print the same exact model that I printed before, and then we're gonna compare them side by side and see just how well this filament dryer from Creality fared. So now that our second Moai statue is printing and finishing up, let's take a look at the first one that we printed. So on first glance, it looks pretty good, but if we inspect this a little bit more, we can see that there are some blobs and there are some impurities within the filament, and that is directly resulted from moisture. Uh, so again, this was before I actually threw it in the pool. This was from it just sitting out uh, for about two days of ambient room humidity, probably around 55, 56. A good looking piece, but it can definitely look better. Now here is the second one. Again, the same file, identical print, but this is after running it through the dehydrator and look at there are no bumps, there are no blemishes, there are no impurities. And that is because we have effectively pulled all of the moisture out of the filament resulting in a much better print. I also use this on a couple other prints. Here is a quick Deadpool print because everybody seems to be printing Deadpool stuff. And this was done in silk, which is a lot more prone to holding moisture. Pulled it all out, made it look absolutely awesome and really, really a great job. Overall, this Creality dehydrator, it really is great. It's probably one of the best, if not the best that I've used. Super easy to use. It literally has every material setting that you could think of. Very sleek, very aesthetically pleasing, very easy to operate. Really can't complain about anything about the Creality Space Pie filament dryer. Now that we've gone over everything with this filament dryer and really put it to the test, let me wrap up this video and give you my final thoughts. All right, everyone, well, there you have it. There is a look at the Creality Space Pie filament dryer. And you know, you can't knock on the results. You've seen the torture test that I kind of put it through. I wanted to kind of do something different that I hadn't done before. And, you know, I can say that it honestly passed with flying colors. You know, you've seen that, that filament that I used, uh, I had left out in my printing room uh, for about two days, but when you leave it out exposed, moisture will accumulate over time. And obviously, you know, chucking it in the pool, leaving it in the water for an hour, and then leaving it outside uh, for another hour, just in that humid Florida air, it just had all kinds of time to absorb that moisture. You've seen in the video just how much moisture was in there, but after leaving it in the Space Pie filament dryer, it sucked all of that moisture out. And the final print there, you can see absolutely no issues the second time around. Uh, just proving, you know, how well these filament dryers work and in particular, uh, the Creality Space Pie. So definitely something that I recommend if you are trying to uh, improve your prints, maybe save a little bit of frustration uh, and really just maximize your 3D printing experience, you know. And in addition to it just being constructed very well, you know, I've tried some other filament dryers in the past and they've just felt cheap and weak. And, you know, this Creality Space Pie filament dryer, it feels really, really strong. In addition to the fan being nice and quiet, the awesome display, it has options to dry every material out there and it looks really cool. That is probably one of the, the biggest things is it just looks awesome next to your printer or just out. It doesn't just look again like cheap and ratty, very sleek looking piece and it doesn't hurt that the performance is also top notch. I wanna thank you guys for stopping by and checking out today's video. If you did like it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, general feedback, or you just wanna say what's up, please go ahead and drop me a comment in the comment section. You know I will hit you back. And last but not least, if you are a big fan of 
3D printing, cosplay, Funko Pops, Marvel, DIY, 3D printing builds, all the stuff I'm doing on the channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. I have a ton, ton of videos that I've already done filming. I have a ton more I have to edit. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, come back and see me. And once again, a big thank you to Creality and 3D Uncle. Make sure to check them out. All of the links are in the description. They have a ton, ton, ton of different 3D printing accessories. So make sure to check out that links. And don't forget to tell them DW sent you. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure to go ahead and check out and pick up the Creality Space Pie filament dryer. Absolutely awesome product. So go ahead and follow me on social media. Hit me up. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know if any of my tips, tricks, or products that I've reviewed have helped you in your 3D printing journeys. I got to get moving on to the next project, guys. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment and click that subscribe button. Until next time, it's DW out. Later. I could watch you for a lifetime. You're my favorite.